So I'm a Lego mock builder and I was challenged to build a robot out of Lego. But here's the catch. I only have one week to build it. Okay, so it's day number one, and the first thing that we need to do is to come up with a plan. So first, I need my handy dandy notebook so I can draw out an exquisite robot design. So we got the basic design that we're gonna use for the robot, now we gotta decide what colors are we gonna use. So I'm looking at this periodic table of Lego colors, and I really wanna use some sort of blue. So I decide I'm gonna use dark turquoise and dark bluish gray. So it's the next day, and I went to the Lego store, and it was my lucky day because there were dark teal one by two plates on the pad wall. And speaking of of Lego colors, dark turquoise is by far my favorite Lego color. Comment below what your favorite Lego color is. These bad boys will definitely help with this robot. So I decided to use my turquoise parts to create this nice angle for the top of the head. I then grab my dark bluish gray parts and these really cool macaroni tiles and I build the two sides of the head. So next I basically built the core of the robot head and I know it doesn't look like much but just wait, it's gonna look like a robot later. I then attach some of the side paneling to the core and I attach these eyes that I made with inverted tires to the little light inside. And now we got the head almost complete, but it kind of has a hole in its head, so let's fill in the gap. So to fill in the gap, I decided to build this little micro city, which should fit perfectly in the head. And now we have the robot head complete. So it's day number three, and our goal for today is to build the body. I have a lot of ideas of what I'm going to do, so let's go ahead and get started. So I first grab my plates and a buttload of Technic parts, and I build this giant square box. As you can see, I added tiles and grills on the inside of this box, and a hidden light brick on the top so you can see the inside. One thing that you might be able to notice with the back of the body is that you can see some gears and a motor, but that's for something special later on. But now I think it's time to work with some exterior details so it doesn't look like a box. So I grab some plates, tiles, and these curved one by two slopes, and I build this little panel which fits perfectly in the front. I then build these two sections, and they fit perfectly on the top. I grab all of these wiry parts, and they add that nice extra detail. I then add some paneling on the edges, and then I build these two separate sections which fit perfectly on the sides. After that, I then build this little section, then I add these little blue pieces, and this little section, and it fits perfectly on the top. I then grab one of these big plates, and add a crap ton of parts on top, and it adds that extra detail in the back. So next, I grab some red bricks, and some slopes, and I build this Lego heart. I then grab it, and I place it inside of the robot body. I then grab these little hinges, some plates, and my tiles, and I add this little door. Okay guys, so it's day number four, and you can see we have an almost complete body. I really like all the details with the sides, the front, and of course the back, and I especially love the heart inside. But one thing that you may notice is that the robot is missing some arms and legs, so that is exactly what we're going to be doing next. So starting off with the legs, I first grab these two parts, grab my wedge parts, and I build two of these little sections, and attach them on top of the plates. I then grab all these macaroni bricks, and I attach them to the top and add this little dish. Next, I grab a buttload of cheese slopes, and I outline the edges. I then build these tall little rounded structures and I add them on the top. Next, I grab some tires and I put them inside out and I put them around like this. I build these two sections, add them to the top and voila, the legs are on. And you guessed it, it's time for the arms. So I first grab these parts, grab these little wheels and I connect them together using this axle. I then build this little section and I attach the two parts together with this little brown piece. But you might notice that there's a really big gap right here. So I grab these little treads and it covers it up perfectly. I then build these two forearm sections and I attach them to the rest of the arms and everything is looking pretty good. I then place down the head and the robot is now complete. This is the heart of the city. The story behind this model is about a robot with a city in his head. If you were a tiny person in this city, you would just think it's a nice sunny day. But when you look at the world through a different perspective, the sun is actually a robotic firefly. For the city to survive, the robot must protect it at all costs. While doing this, the robot feels something that he's never felt before. He opens the door inside of his body, and he learns that his heart that's been still his entire life starts to turn. The robot powers the city, but the city powers his heart. Hey everyone, it's Ethan here, and today I'm gonna to show you guys my Lego robot, the heart of the city. So this robot took about four days to complete, and honestly, I'm very happy with the time. The amount of detail that I was able to include in this model looks absolutely phenomenal. One way that I wanted this model to stand out was uh, to have a heart in the inside and kind of have a whole story with it. I have built robots in the past like BD1, but this is on another level because I've never built one this big. One thing that I wanted this model to include was a motor, which would turn the heart inside. I'm very happy with how that turned out. This was my first time dealing with motors and this was very fun to do. I did have trouble making sure that the robot didn't tip over, but 
with trial and error, I was able to get it where it can stand. I also absolutely loved the lights inside of the head that lights up the eyes. I really liked how I did that. And you can see in the back of the head, I actually have these two little knobs that you can push them and it turns on the lights. I love the amount of detail that I was able to include in the body, such as the back, sides, and the front. I absolutely love how much personality is shown through this robot. I mean, I wanted to kind of show a happy vibe with this robot, so I kind of made it waving and I really like I really like how it's doing that well that's going to wrap up this video I hope you guys enjoyed this robot and enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to check out my other social medias and of course have a great and wonderful day don't forget to be awesome